My name is David Rivera. I'm Sasha McClure. Stuart Martinen. My name is Anthony Smith. Nicholas Affolder. I am a city carrier assistant. I'm a CCA. I'm a CCA at the Forest Park Station. Inglewood, Florida. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The Scottsdale Main Post Office. Down here in Venice, Florida. Before the Postal Service, I worked overnight at a hotel. And I was missing a lot of life events with my family. I didn't want to be in an office for my next job. I wanted to build a career for myself rather than just a daily job. I was looking to actually have a career in somewhere where I could retire with uh, great benefits. I saw a lot of people in my family working for the post office that were greatly advancing towards their goals uh, much quicker than I was. I chose the Postal Service and uh, I've liked it ever since. I've heard the phrase, this job is hardest thing to learn, easiest to do. It's very challenging. Um, it's a lot of hard work. Uh, but it pays off in the end. No one told me how strenuous the job can be on your mind and your body. Not only on your legs, but also on your upper body because you are carrying mail, going up and down steps, uh, going up and down hills on the streets. You assume that the mail is actually given to you, already taken care of, but... We have to get um, our letters, we have to get our parcels, we have to get all our magazines and catalogs together, we need to case all that stuff. Basically uh, putting the mail in the slots according to the address and pulling that mail down and going out and delivering it at the route. One of the hardest parts about being a CCA is not knowing your full schedule, not knowing when you have a day off, not knowing if at the end of the day when you come back you're getting sent back out to help a carrier. Climate is a big thing, um, you're rained on a lot. The winter is the harshest, of course, you know, we're dealing with walking through foot of snow and, you know, the wind chill factor. And, you know, you're outside and you're hot in the sun. I have to rehydrate um, and rehydrate after rehydrating. You're going to be in climates that are going to be uncomfortable at times. Being safe out there, um, not only from a, for boxes, but, you know, you have other dogs, pets, uh, behind the fence lines coming around corners. You have to make sure you're done with all that you deliver. You deliver everything and you're done by a certain time of day because you, you have a truck that's waiting for you to take the outgoing mail. Working with your coworkers and teammates to help you get through the day. It's like a light bulb goes off in your head that, yeah, I understand what I'm doing now. Slow down, take a deep breath. It's gonna be okay. Give yourself a couple months to get used to it because you're not gonna get used to it in a day or two. The one thing that I love about this job is our customers. Our customers keep us happy. You know, I want my customers to be happy. I do what I can to make them happy. No matter what day of the week it is, they're always there to greet you. Yeah, they're you always friendly, they're always courteous. They know you by your first name. It's been a very fun experience so far, and I've really enjoyed it. The reason I stay is because I want to build a good career for myself. I want to move up in the postal world. I don't want to stay a carrier assistant. And, you know, I come to help compensate my family and provide for them. I enjoy the job. I enjoy the challenge every day. It is always something different every day. You gotta like what you're doing. If you like being outside, you don't like being uh, micromanaged every step uh, out there because you're out there alone doing your work. There are definitely pluses in the job that way. So if you like all that kind of thing, you're gonna stay.